Hey everyone, so first I'm going to shave my face. I'm using this blade from Let's Shave. They sent it to me and I freaking love it. It comes in a pack of 10. So it's going to last you like 6 months to a year depending how you use it. Um, so I'll leave a link down below so you can purchase it. I know a lot of you wanted to buy the blade that I was using earlier but could not find it. So this is really amazing. Um, I'm also going to take the trimmer that I already have and I'm just going to shave or trim a little bit of my upper lip um, and then I'm gonna move on to moisturizer again I'm taking the pack lotion as usual um, it's almost over but I freaking love this moisturizer for foundation I'm taking the um, L'Oreal matte and LA girl foundation um, the LA girl is a little hydrating and dewy whereas the L'Oreal is super matte and it's medium to full coverage and I have to say I freaking love that foundation um, so if you will if you know Nykaa is still on sale I think you guys should get it I'm in the shade G1 I believe um, and yeah it's a beautiful foundation for concealer I'm taking the pack takeover concealer I'm using M21 first um, this concealer can be a little bit drying under your eye so I don't know you know take care of that you want to hydrate under your eye before you go in with this um, this is, you know, best blended out with a brush, I feel. Then I'm going to take the L11. This is just to brighten up a little bit. Um, and I'm just doing that on the areas that I want to highlight. So again, bridge of my nose and under my eye and chin, etc. Uh, I'm taking my beauty blender for this. I'm using the YBP beauty blender for all of you that were asking. Finally, I got my Laura Mercier powder. Oh my god, I freaking love this powder so much. Um, this is like, I don't know, it's my holy grail powder. I don't think I can use any other powder. Um, this is so bulletproof and it's so smooth on the skin. I cannot explain to you how much I love it. Um, I'm just taking the pack compact powder and setting my entire face as well. Now you want to set your eyelids really well like the way I'm doing simply because you don't want it to crease during the day and you don't want your you know lids to get oily since we're not using any eyeshadow today. Um, this is for those um, girls or guys who do not like to get ready in the morning as such. Um, you know people who have college or like office this is like an no eyeshadow look. Um, obviously you don't have to you know use the wing liner etc but I'm just giving you an overall easy glamour I'm going in with this um, plum kajal and this is such a nice kajal for your waterline or if you would just want to line your eyes and walk out the door because this sets really fast so it was quite difficult for me to buff out um, this is like like you can see I'm taking the angel eyes kajal um, smudger behind and I'm sort of smudging it out but yeah you can use any cream liner any gel liner that you have and you can smudge your liner with that so I just really like how this smoked out wing liner was it was looking really soft on the eyes that's why I love it I'm going in with my Nykaa eyeliner and I'm just going to line my eyes uh, you can obviously leave it just the way it is if you you know if you're not good at it just like me um, I struggle a lot with my wing liner, but I don't know. I just wanted to do something different This eyeliner was so easy like you can see look at that I did it in like a minute under a minute it was so fast simply because the felt tip is so good of this liner that it just makes your eyes I don't know, eyeliner apply really smooth I know my left eye looks a little weird right now but I'm sort of I adjust it towards the end of it and I make it look nice so if you guys are good at wing liners then you know what awesome that is so good because just practice makes perfect so I'm just gonna keep practicing it till I get it perfect I'm just trying to perfect both the wing liners simply because um, I just wanted to look a little bit equal, if not 
um, 100% and you can see there I just gave up <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow palette um, I'm just gonna smoke out a little bit because I don't want my eyes to look flat you have to have some sort of shadow play happening um, if I just put the wing liner and mascara I don't know it's just going to look a little flat so I wanted some sort of smokiness happening down obviously you can skip this step I just did it because I felt it looked nicer um, my eyes looked a little more open um, so that's what I'm doing, taking two brown eyeshadows, eyeshadows and smoking it. For lashes, I'm taking the um, Euro Paris in 59. These are gorgeous lashes. Before that, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline um, Falsies Push Up Drama. This is such a beautiful mascara. I highly um, recommend this to you guys because it just lengthens your lashes. Um, so yeah, I freaking love it. Definitely order that from Nykaa as well if the sale is going on because... The sales are pretty damn amazing. And I'm just going to coat my lower lash line lashes as well. And I'm moving on to contouring and bronzing. I'm just going to, you know, use these two to do it. And yeah, I'm just contouring my nose first using the MAC uh, bronzing powder. I'm just blending it out using um, a stippling brush and going over with a beauty blender just to make sure that it is nice and soft and looks a little bit natural. I'm bronzing and contouring with this because again I just want a really soft look and I'm not going to contour that hard. Um, and I really like how this came out. It's just a perfect blend of warm and cool tones. So that's why I like this um, sort of contouring shade. Um, but again I'm into that you know the whole sun-kissed bronze, bronzer sort of face so I'm taking this um, bronzer from Savannah colors it's red it's kind of reddish also the Lacme sun-kissed may be too red for some people but I love it it's just personal preference I love when my skin looks a little sunburnt I know it can be a little weird for some people but I just love the way it looks on my skin so um, that's why you'll see it a little heavy now but I blend it out towards the end of it I'm going on to blush I'm taking the Estee Lauder blush in hot pink I think and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks and drag it up to my contour to blend everything out I'm taking the beauty blender as usual and I'm just softening all the edges all over my face for highlighter, I'm taking the Savannah Colors highlighter. I don't know how I, how I feel about this highlighter simply because it's too harsh for me. I know I'm saying that, but like you can see, I'm a little taken aback by how harsh it was. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I still have to play around with it to tell you my final thoughts. I'm going in with this in color and I'm just going to line the bridge of my nose like you can see. This is an amazing trick to make your nose look slimmer. It is absolutely beautiful. Definitely follow me on Snapchat um, because, you know, I do like sort of updated tricks over there. I sort of update you guys on what exactly to do if I find out something's working out for me. So definitely follow me there. Um... To line my lips, lips, I'm taking the MAC uh, Lip Liner in Cherry and I'm just going to fill that in as well. For lipstick, I'm taking the Maybelline Creamy MAC Lipstick. This is the new range that has come out. Um, and I'm just going to, yeah, put that all over my lips. It's a very classic, beautiful, creamy matte red. I'm going to finish off using this Fix Plus to just melt everything in and that is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video um, and yeah, I don't have anything else to say other than I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Love you guys.